Hello everybody, it's a, another warm weekend here in North Texas. We're actually towards the end of January and it's 70 degrees. So when it's warm out here, what do you do? Come out into your garden. So just to get my jump start on the uh, spring, I'm just amending my soil, the raised garden beds that I put together a couple weeks ago. Basically, I have some uh, coffee grounds from Starbucks and a few other things like some fertilizers and uh, as I might I'm going to put in there just to kind of kick the dirt in and get everything to start breaking down so that's what I'm going to show you today all right so just to uh, give an example of what I'm doing here I have my raised garden beds that I put out and went to my local Starbucks because uh, you, you know there's so many there's one on each corner and they all got coffee grounds so basically got some coffee grounds and I'm going to spread these out over my garden bed. And basically, uh, it smells just like a inside of a Starbucks out here right now because it's pretty powerful, these coffee grounds. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of spread them out over the top of the beds. And then I'm going to start adding a few more things here. Of course, I'm doing this with one hand on the camera and one doing the spreading out but you kind of get the point so a little bit of coffee grounds and then we'll add the next piece so this right here is azomite and basically they call it rock dust and there's probably other products like it on the market but Amazon's kind of the most famous and it's kind of like uh, well, when you say Kleenex there's other aspects Kleenex is a name brand Anyways, there's a lot of controversy over whether this really helps or not in terms of remineralizing your soil. Basically, all I'm doing here is spreading this out, get a little bit of it in each of the raised beds, and I had it, so that's why I'm kind of using it. But whether it really works or not, a lot of controversy over that. Some people say it puts the minerals back in so that the plants use the minerals. Other people basically say that it's, you know, rock dust and it's too big to break down for the plants to use, actually. Uh, who knows really for sure, but I've had the bag, so you might want to do your own research on it, whether it actually works or not. But since I got it, I'm going to put it on there and start adding more things. Okay, the next thing that I'm adding here is something called dried molasses. Now you might be saying, why are you putting molasses in the garden? Let me show you here. Basically, it's, it looks like a little granulated sugar, like you would expect, but it's molasses. Well, what does this do? Well, it's good for the beneficial bacteria. Think about the microbes. Think about them feeding off of things like sugar. Think of like yeast. So basically, I add this to the soil, and it helps theoretically with the beneficial bacteria whether it helps all that much you know there's not a lot of these scientific studies that can say one way or the other do your plants grow better with or without but i'm giving it a try and you could too and see if it doesn't enhance and enrich your soil because it's all about making good rich soil so i'm gonna put some of this all in the beds as we continue layering in our amendments. Finally, I'm gonna put in a little bit of perlite. Some of my beds, um, I haven't put it in. This basically makes the dirt a little bit more fluffier and lighter, so I'm gonna put some of that in. And now, to mix it all up, I use my handy dandy rototiller. It will get in there and make short work of the mix. All right, now that the amendments are in the dirt, then I've raked it even, and now we got a jump start on preparing our raised garden beds for the spring. Soon enough, I'll be uh, planting the uh, early spring vegetables like uh, peas and uh, some uh, cabbage family, onions, those type of things can start to go in. Also, potatoes here. I'm just gonna, we'll probably give it another week just to make sure there's no more horrendously cold weather, and then I'll drop it in there. 
But anyways, quick little garden update as we prepare for the spring of 2018. Thanks. Talk to you again.